Do you guys remember that video I made back in ancient year of 2019 which melted your hearts and gave me some decent views? But today I will recreate the same epic intro entirely in Filmora. No need to hit any pesky download button for any external files anymore. Hey there amazing people, it's Mohit and I know it's been forever since you guys heard my voice. But anyway, let the show begin. To get started, go to file, click project settings and change the frame rate to 60 fps. If you are a macOS user, you will find settings here or if you are using windows, you will find it under file with the name of preferences. Now click settings or preferences, switch to editing tab, change the photo duration to 30 and change the type to frames. Also change the snapshot format from jpg to png. Next, go to Titles tab, bring the default title into the timeline, double click on it, click Advanced Settings, delete the existing text, create a square shape, then disable the text fill and shape border on the right side, resize the square shape to fit into the frame, change its color to your desired background color behind your logo. In main editing window, click on this camera icon on the right side to take a snapshot. After that, delete the title, import the snapshot into the timeline, double click on it, switch to mask tab, select circle mask preset and change the width and height value to the same to make a perfect circle shape mask. Bring the logo on top of snapshot, double click on it, adjust the size of your logo to fit inside the circle. Then again, take a snapshot by clicking on the same camera like icon. Here, our logo is ready. Now it's time to bring all 10 photos at once into the timeline, but make sure to name them in sequence before importing them. If you wish to add colors to every image, follow this optional step. Bring a default title into the timeline, adjust its duration according to one image, go to its advanced settings, create a new shape, disable the text fill, Stretch the shape to fit into the frame, choose any color to your liking. Here I am choosing brown color for the first image. Adjust the opacity between 30 to 50%. Then right click on the color layer. Click on copy, paste it 9 times which is as same as the photos we have seen in the first layer. Then just change the color of every layer to your liking. After adding color to every image, bring another title into the timeline. Again, adjust its duration according to a photo. Next, change the text, choose font and size, then simply copy and paste it 9 times. Now just select and change the text to your liking but keep it in center. So after doing all that, go to first image and click on this camera like icon to take a snapshot of it. Then keep taking a snapshot of each image one by one. Now select everything except music and delete them. Select all snapshot and bring them to the timeline. Go to zero frames, add a keyframe at scale. Then at 29th frame, increase the scale to 115. Follow the same step with every snapshot that is adding keyframe at the start of every snapshot and increase the scale to 115 at the end. After adding all the keyframes, again go to setting of preferences. This time change the photo duration to 8 frames. Exit the settings and bring white color into the first layer just after the photos. Right click on the white layer and click on copy. Then select first layer and paste it 9 times. Select all the original unedited images. Then again change the photo duration to 9 frames in preferences or settings. After that just bring all those unedited photos into the timeline. Make a gap between every white image and put that original photo in between white layers. Just like you can see on screen. After arranging all of these, as we can see, it's creating a flicker type animation. Okay, at 4 seconds and 30 frames, bring a default text into the second layer, extend its duration, then go to its advanced setting, delete existing text, create a new square shape layer, stretch the shape until it fits the frame, 
then disable the text fill and shape border. Under shape fill, change the type to gradient fill. Then create a grey background by choosing colors between white and black. Then exit the text inspector. Take a snapshot of grey gradient which we just created. Delete the title in which we created the grey background. Bring the snapshot of grey background into the timeline at 4 seconds and 30 frames and increase its duration till 10 seconds. Double click on grey snapshot. Switch to color tab then make sure vignette is enabled. Change the amount to negative 70. Then change the roundness to 10 and feather to 100. Next, switch to video tab and go to mask category. Choose circle mask. Scroll down and enable this invert mask option. Change the width and height according to the size of your logo at the end of video. Here I am choosing 25 and 25. At 7 seconds and 30 frames, add a keyframe on all parameters but don't change anything. Move to 4 seconds and 30 frames, increase the scale to 200, then increase the width and height to move the circle out of the frame. Now go to 7 seconds and finally bring your logo into the timeline. Double click on your logo, add a keyframe on scale, then change the scale to fit into the circle mask. At 7 seconds and 30 frames, again change the scale of your logo according to the circle mask. Move to 7 seconds once more, add a keyframe on opacity and change its value to 0. Then at 7 seconds and 45 frames, change the opacity back to 100. There is one more adjustment on your logo which is optional. Just below the compositing, enable the drop shadow option. Scroll down, change the distance to 5. Don't change the blur and change the opacity to around 40. I know you are tired but that's the last step, I swear. Go to effects tab, search for 21 and bring this cinema black bars into the timeline. Then adjust its duration. Double click on it, add a keyframe on border height. Increase its value to 1. Next, at exactly 3 seconds, change the border height to negative 0.5. So, we are finally done and let's have a look. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, then go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. And now I will see you in the next video.